Hey, this is Blaine with Stocks for Beer Trading, and I'm looking at Stocks on Watch here for November the 9th. First one up, well, I'm looking at the overall Dow here, the Dow 30. Been killed the past two days, um, partially due to the Obama getting reelected, I suppose. The market's just basically giving him a little sign that says, hey, you gotta pick it up and get the unemployment rate down and get the deficit down and all that good jazz. Otherwise, this market's gonna sell off and we could fall back into a recession. Um, first level of support I'm looking at here is 12,600. It could easily fall back to that level tomorrow and then be looking for a bounce, or it could bounce off of this tomorrow. Um, either way, I will be looking for a bounce play in the Dow 30, which could signal a rally in some other stocks as well. Um, usually, I don't play stocks that are affected by this, but I think there's some money to be made when it does finally turn the corner and at least get a little bounce. I'm not saying that it goes back up to 13.6. Um, uh, hell, it might even go all the way down to 12.2 or uh, all the way down to like 11.2 um, in the coming months. So we could be the start of the bear rally. Um, I mean, a bear turned down, but I just don't know where we're going from here in the long term, so I'm willing to play the short-term bounces. That's, that's about it. So uh, more about how I play this in the chat room and some stocks to be watched for that as well. I'll cover those in the chat room. Um, as far as penny stocks go, I'm gonna pull up FALC here first. I like this for the 250 break. If it can get through this 250 mark, then it should pop. If I can draw a straight line and get the point, though, it's 250. Uh, this will be the recent range break from the high back in September. If it gets through that, then it should pop. I think it has room to at least 280 if the volume stays the same. I mean, this is a huge volume bar today considering the lack of volume in the past. Um, I like the volume back in March. So if it gets volume like it did in March, then it should be able to go. UPIP. Uh, we got a falling wedge on this daily chart, pretty much, which could signal a turnaround if it gets back through this downtrend line. Um, I think it needs follow through over today's high, which was 155. So uh, for me today, trade it, it needs to break 155, and then I'm looking for a push towards 165 probably. ES, nice alert today in the chat room on this thing. Uh, I'm looking for, needs to break about 325. I think if it does that, it has room to 360 on the daily chart here. Lee finally trying to come out of consolidation. Uh, alerted at 151, 152 area. Um, so could have got a 10 cents out of it there. So watch for follow through over 163 and 165. These will be key areas from this last little consolidation area that it basically acted as resistance. So 165 and then 180. Uh, 180 will be huge. If it gets through 180, then it could run pretty good. NAK made a higher low on the daily chart there to form an uptrend line. Um, watch for a push over 420 to see if they can get higher, going back towards 450 or even 5 in the next few days. Uh, if you play this thing, uh, the obvious stop loss here would be if these four support area breaks down. So just keep your tight, uh, keep your stop tight around that area. S and SS may finally be due for a bounce on the daily chart if it can get back through 4. Um, so just keep your eye on that. I think it can bounce probably back towards 450 or even 5 over the next few days if it does. Um, with the stop loss being at least above, I mean at least 350 there. Don't be risking anything more than that, but probably tighter if, if, if you're day trading it or if you're willing to swing it then probably 350 area. CBIS, um, it's an OTC stock here, but it finally broke through the six level, which was key resistance back in February. And you, as you can see, it ran quite nicely back then. Um, I don't think it'll go all the way back towards 25 right away, but I think this might go a little higher. It needs to get over today's high of about 7.3. Um, I'm I'm already in this from five since been holding it actually since September, um, so just swinging this thing higher and and hopefully you can ride this up a little bit. 
Uh, I think there's still money to be made on the day trade side. If if that's your plan, then play that high of day break and then ride the trend. GRZG been watching this a few weeks actually, and I uh, mentioned it as chat in chat in the chat room that it was a promotion stock, and sure enough, and volume starting to pick up, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this get a major speed up day and push towards two eventually. I mean, obviously this is going to tank. Like everything else, it'll fall all the way down. But um, for now, I think they're still they still want it a little bit higher. So just be careful if you play this, and only play with money you can lose. Because if you're not watching it closely, it'll tank on you, and you you'll be out. So um, more about this in chat as it continues higher. BRWC, nice pop. On Thursday, um, needs back through three. If it can break three, it might get another pop back towards four or five. But if it doesn't break three, then I wouldn't even touch it. Um, it's probably done if it can't get back through three. Another OTC I'm watching here is iWeb. If it can get through eight cents, break that eight cent, it might get a quick pop towards ten. Ten's been a pretty strong resistance level here the past few months, so um, seems to be trading between that six and ten. So Watch for 8 break to ride it back towards 10 for maybe 25% or so. Um, anyway, that's your watch list for November the 9th. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the chat room.